Hello, everybody. It's me, Mrs. Claus. I'm in the North Pole, and Santa is very, very busy this evening because it's Christmas Eve. So he said to me, Mrs. Claus, would you go and read a story for all the boys and girls this evening? So I said, well, I'd love to do that. So here I am. The story I'd like to read you is one of my favourites and it's The Night Before Christmas. I hope you like it. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, with visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. <laughs> with, with a little old driver so lovely and quick I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his horses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Pranson, Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donna and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry as the leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, they meet with an obstacle and mount to the sky. So up to the house top, the courses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and turned around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a big bound. <laughs> he was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. Oh, Santa. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opened his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. <laughs> he had a broad face with a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head, he soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger on the side of his nose, he gave me a nod and up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like a down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that story. I know I did. So now, it's time to get pyjamas on, Get all cosy, and soon Santa will be coming, and it'll be Christmas Day. So you have a wonderful Christmas, and be kind to everybody. Good night.